What's up guys, welcome to your 13th JavaScript tutorial. And in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys how to write a for loop. Now what this kind of loop does, it allows you to run a specific code or script however many times you specify it to. So you can either run it one time or a hundred and it can do it all automatically depending on what you tell JavaScript to do. So the first thing we need before we even type what code it is is a variable and we need this because first we need to tell it how many times to run so most of the time when people use for loops they use an integer with the value of i and they set it equal to either one or zero I'm gonna set mine equal to zero this is just because i and zero is some of the most simple and plain integers to work with and the syntax for a for loop is just the word for then you add your parameters and this tells javascript that we're going to be typing our for loop in here now inside your parameters you have to type three separate things the first thing you type is what variable you're using and what you want to set its initial value to so we already have this variable i equals zero so in the loop we're going to be using i equals zero that's our first value and we're going to be setting it equal to zero so it can start at zero you separate elements in your parameter with a semicolon make sure you don't put a colon now once you type your semicolon the second element you add is called the range and this is how many times or how far you want your variables to reach so it starts at zero and I say alright well what do I want to end it at well I want to end it when I our variable is less than or equal to 10 so 10 times pretty much now that we have that we have two elements in our third element is to tell JavaScript how much we want to increment it by so since we just want to increment it by one I can type I plus plus and remember plus plus means just add one every time so we have a variable start at zero end at ten add one to it every time now inside your four add the curly braces just like a function and inside is what you type your code that you want it to execute over and over again what I want to tell it to do over and over again ten times is go to document write and remember all this means is output basic on the screen it's gonna show write on our web page and that's why I use these uh, body tags because we're not going to be using an alert box and in the parameters I'm going to type I for the variable and then after that we're going to want to add a line break and remember you can use HTML in your script by enclosing it in double parentheses so now what this is going to do is go through this ten times each of those times it's gonna output the integer now this isn't gonna display the same every time because we're adding one to it and after that I just added a line break so it will show up easier and you can see it on a different line instead of just on the same line but you guys can just see that so let me save that and refresh it and as you see at first started with zero one two all the way to number ten now just to recap why this did this first declare a variable say what you want it to start at we started at zero and ended at ten as you can see zero ended at ten increment it by one each time that's why it only went up by one each time but you can have it increment by whatever you want two three or a hundred and then we write alright now we have our values and we know how many times 
we want to do the code but what exactly is the code that's where we type in here the code is that we want you to write on the screen the number and then move on to the next line so that's how simple it is to make a for loop and there are a bunch of different kinds of loops that I'm going to be teaching you next time but please support my videos and make sure to rate this and enjoy watching and learn this and then move on to my next video thank you